Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to Yahweh out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Now, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, his true name in the ancient Hebrew, okay, not the Yiddish, which those people that are in the land now they speak Yiddish, which is a mix of uh, German. Uh, you know, in a, in a bunch of other languages, okay? And they use, um, you know, the Hebrew, the, the Assyrian Hebrew characters, okay? Now, <clears throat> this video is going to be dealing with this video that you're looking at on the screen, all right, that a brother posted, a brother um, endure these last days, okay? He, impo he posted this video, and this is controversial. I was contemplating uh, on putting it up. Because you know how Amalek gets down, you know, anytime you say anything against them or not even has, it doesn't even have to be against them. If you just even mention a fact about them, that's anti-Shem, that's anti-Shem, okay? Because they run the media, they run it, they run this, um, uh, you know, this system, you see what I'm saying? So they have the control and they're able to do that. Now this video sh is speaking on what Ye said, you know what I'm saying? You know who Ye is. Mr. West, Mr. West, all right, you already know, okay, so him, you know, he, what he's saying is stirring up a whole lot of controversy, and it's really putting the spotlight on Amalek, okay, and all praises to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai for that, because they've been going so along with their lies, their lies have spread around the earth for so long, you know, no matter, no matter what they did, they were never, they were always looked at as innocent you know, they never got the the um, the blame in the media. They were never demonized. You see what I'm saying? But as soon as Jake does something wrong, they're quick to demonize Jake. Okay. Let me get a scripture real quick. And I'm going to read this directly from my phone. This is 2nd Ezra 2 and 60 and uh Second Ezra 6 and 28. It says, As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which hath been so long without fruit shall be declared. And now the truth which has been so long without fruit, which has been um hidden for so long, is now being declared in the earth. Let me get um, Isaiah, the 60th chapter. Oh, me. You know, this is Isaiah 60 and 1. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth. And this is what has covered the earth. The darkness represents the lies, you know, the, the, the true misinformation, you know, which these people that run this, this whole society, you know, including YouTube, you know, they're all, they're all, uh, you know, uh, mini hats. All right. They run all of this. Okay. So what have they pushed forth? They push forth lies because truth uh, is, is an enemy to them. You know, truth exposes them. You know, this is why what Kanye said was so, uh, uh, so offensive. So they had to shut him down from everything. You can't go back on Fox. You can't go back on this. You can't go back on that to, to make an example. Because when you speak truth in a, in a place full of, full of lies, a society full of lies, it's a revolutionary act. I can't remember who, who said that quote, but that's a true statement. Okay. It's a revolutionary act. And gross darkness to people. But Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Okay, which is what? This truth. You know? His glory is being seen upon the elect. You know, because all this li all these lies that Esau has pushed forth is now being breaking down. We're, t we're taking down these strongholds, and we're showing you the truth. We're showing you who they are. Sh we're showing you who we are. You know, and you can't expect, 
Yeezy to go all the way. Okay? Why? Because he's not a prophet. He's not a man of the Lord. He was just someone that the Lord is using to, you know, push out uh, that, that part of truth. You know? You know, brothers, you know, certain brothers have different opinions, you know? You know what I'm saying? Saying that he's, uh, that he's not... He's, he's sincere about what he's saying and so on and so forth. You know, which we know Esau, he deals with a lot of that left-handed deception as well. When you watch the, the interview, you know, he does seem, you know, somewhat sin sincere. But he can be sincere and still be, um, <laughs> still have an agenda. You understand? He can believe that that's the truth and still be, be um, you know, have, have a battery in his back from Esau Edom in order to demonize the truth. That's possible as well. Okay, because, you know, my whole thing was how did he get on Fox to begin with? How did he even how did he even get that far? You see. When the, you know what I'm saying, but um, ultimately, it doesn't matter. You know, everything that that these people say anyway, ultimately, it works for the, the elect. It works for the elect and it works for prophecy. OK, this is um, Isaiah 25 and verse seven. It says, and he will destroy in this mountain. I mean, this government, this system, the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Because all these other nations, they don't know who they are. They don't even know what nationality they are. They call themselves by all these different names. You know, uh, Chinese, Japanese, uh, Arab. You know, these are not um, their biblical nationalities. These were not the names they were being called, uh, let's say, 3,000 years ago. They were being called totally different names. Names that was given unto them by the Heavenly Father. You see, it was common knowledge. Even if they called themselves such and such or such and such, it used to be common knowledge that, yes, uh, now I call myself whatever, you know, the Persians or whatever, but I know that my roots go back to Elam. Okay? Yes, I may call myself whatever the case, uh, uh, Arabian or whatever the case may be, but I know that my roots go back to Ishmael, you know, which you have a lot of those heathens that know that, you see, a lot of those different nations that know where they go back, they know that, and so-called Arabs know they go back to Ishmael, them so-called um, Ethiopians, they know they go back to Cush, you see, but that's a small amount, you see, but let's deal with the, the, the greater majority now, they don't know where they're from, them so-called Chinese, ask them what their origins are, they have no clue, man, okay, now <clears throat> let's get back to this video. Let's get let's get to this video. We're gonna play this video, and, and, and it's a wonder how they could say all these things, but then when we say these things, it's hate. It's not biblical. It's this. It's that. But watch, vocab has nothing to say. You see, these are the double standards that we're speaking about. These are the hypocrisies that we're speaking about with these people, man. Okay, and the Edomites in general. Okay which are the so-called white people, you Edomites in general, you're, this whole society is full of hypocrisy and lies. Let's go. A black man can say he's a Muslim Buddhist Christian, but once he says he's a Jew, he gets canceled. While I'm not Jewish, I want to make this so painfully clear to any black Hebrew Israelites that are watching this. And, and, and another thing, you devil. Okay, we're not black Hebrew Israelites. We don't have to, we, how much times we got to tell you that? There's no such thing as black Hebrews. There's no such thing as black people. There's no such thing as white people. Okay, you are not white. All right, this, this image behind you, this is white. Okay, we got. I gotta get into the spirit of Elder Malcolm. See this this image behind you. This is white. Your skin is a rosy, a reddish, rosy color. You match more your pink shirt or this part of the of the flag than you do this white. Okay, therefore you're not white. That was a construct that was created in 1681, man. Okay, you see what I'm saying? So these lies they continue to propagate it. Black Hebrews lights. Well, what about the so-called Latinos? Are Mexicans black? Are are um are, are Native Americans black? Are 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 um, are, are the uh, the Colombians black? 
And what about the scattering? Because we, we mentioned that there's scattered Israelites around the earth. They're even going to look like this devil. That's going to look like other uh, nations. That look like so-called Chinese. Look like so-called Japanese. A lot of them Filipinos are Israelites. So what are you talking about black Hebrew Israelites? We are just the true Israelites. That's it. Okay? And it's very simple. It's not complicated what we're saying. We are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who according to prophecy lost our identity. That's it. It's not, it's not, it's not that complicated, man. It's really not that complicated. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, <laughs> matter of fact, let me get, man, you see, you want to, you want to let the video play, but then, you know, scriptures pop in your head, man. Matter of fact, let me get the scripture real quick that's popping in my head, man. Then we're going to jump right back. We're going to jump right back to, the, to this um, stuff. Let's get Jeremiah. Okay. This is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. It says, And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. What does it mean to discontinue from your heritage? Right? You could, part of it is what? Leaving the land. Okay. But another part of it is that we would lose our identity. All right. Fast forward to today. Okay. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knewest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Okay. So now let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do Deuteronomy 28th chapter. Excuse me. Salakia. 28th chapter in the 64th verse. And first of all, in all these curses that are a sign to the Israelites, you Amalekites don't fit any of this. You people calling yourself the people, you don't fit any of this, these signs. And we're going to get into it. We're going to definitely, definitely get into it. Matter of fact, I'm going to come back to this, but let's deal with this. Matter of fact, um, yeah, let's start. Let's, let's deal with this. I, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. From the one end of the earth even unto the other. How is the main way the Lord did that? Through slavery. The transatlantic slave trade, right? The um the, 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 the slave trade that happened with the indigenous peoples, which are also Israelites. That's why you have pyramids in, in Mexico, southern uh which 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 are uh, the same as the built the same as the pyramids in ancient Egypt. That's not a coincidence. Okay. This is all history that these Edomites try to hide. Okay? And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So this is part of the uh, the curses. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. So we wouldn't be going into no um owning banks and owning all these different things. Alright? Diamond districts and all these different things. That would not be happening to the Israelites. Until what? Until uh, Shiloh comes. Until Yahweh Shai comes to bring salvation and to bring us into the land. But Yahweh shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. And this is what you Israelites had. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. To this day, you have that, 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 those problems. You have that sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt. These Amalekites' life is not hanging in doubt, man. Their, their neighborhoods are the most heavily guarded neighborhoods. They have, um, even where I where I live, these Amalekite neighborhoods, they got uh, security. They got they don't just got regular police. They got all actual like um, neighborhood watch type security police. You see what I'm saying? So their their life is not in danger. And but you Jakes, your neighborhood, your danger not only are the police, you're in danger your own people. Because that goes back to the curses as well. Thine eyes shall be evil toward thy brother. And we're going to get into it, man. Okay? And we're going to get into it. And thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt not, and shall have none assurance of thy life. Okay, so anyways, let's go. Let's get back to the video. Let's get, I want to finish this video, man. But, you know, these things people say. And there's something else I was going to get to. But you know what? Let's get back to the video. Let's get back to the video. There is a difference between Islam, Christianity, and Buddhism, and Judaism. The difference being that while the former are what's called universal religions, where you simply proclaim, you know, I believe in the word of God, Muhammad's the prophet, I take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, Judaism is an ethno-religion, 
it's tied to an ethnicity, a plot of land, that being the land of Israel. Now that's not to say that there are no black Jews whatsoever, there's the Beta Israel, and there's black converts to Judaism, but to say that all religions must operate under the same rules and principles, it just reeks of ignorance. These people are such the devil. You see how they're the devil? You see how they're, 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 they're um, they have this forked tongue? Because, first of all, let's, let's start with this. When we say this, because we've been saying that this is an ethnicity thing, that the Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel, that this book is dealing with the nation of Israel by lineage. Now, this devil, he said the exact same thing. He said it's an ethno-based thing, right? Which we agree on that. But the thing that he gets wrong is that he's equating that ethno or that ethnicity to the people that are in the land now. Okay? Which they're not the people. That's what we're trying to explain to you. Those are not them. Seeing it's tied to a land as if they were there the whole time. Like they never left. No. Well, let, well let's look what um, Abdul Nasser had to say. Let's look at what Abdul Nasser had to say. The, the former president of Egypt Right, and this was in what Time Magazine it says the war for Israel. I'll say it like that. When he was asked about peace in the Middle East, the late president of Egypt, Gamal Abdel Nasser, stated, and quote, the Jews will never be able to live in, in here in peace. Because they left here black. <laughs> black. As they like to say. But came back white. So what does he know? In 1967. Right? And they call, and they call of course they called it anti-Shem. But what he was saying was you're not the people. How could it be anti-Shem? Or anti-whatever. Right? Let's say anti-Israelite when they're not the, the people. Because when you deal with anti-Shem, right? Shem is a, is a son of Noah. There's many nations that come from Shem. The, the Arabs themselves come from Shem. They're Ishmael. Ishmael came out of Shem. He's a son of Abraham. Then you got the so-called Chinese, the Moabites, the, 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 the Ammonites, right? The Elamites. Those are all Shemites. So that's all a play on words. And it's witchcraft and it's deception. So you heard what he said. Matter of fact, I'm going to read it again for those that have that are slow of, of uh, hearing. Okay, when okay, this is what the late uh, uh, the late president of um, Egypt, Gamal Abdur Nasser, stated. He said the Jews will never be able to live here in peace because they left here black. But came back white. You see that? Point blank period. So what is he saying? He's still trying to say that those people over there look like this guy. They look exactly the same. They look they're, because they're the same people. Right? They they're, they're, uh, might be from different tribes, right? Because Amalek is a, a particular tribe amongst Esau. But they're all Edomites. They have the same exact look. You think these were the people that... This is the one that was Pharaoh's son that was hiding in Pharaoh's uh, house? They look like this guy? That he called his son? And he was blending in? <laughs> right? Do you think that makes sense? The great miracle that was done to Moses where he put his hand in his bosom and it, and it came out white? And they put it back and it came back like his other flesh. Is that such a great, uh, uh, you know, um, miracle when it looks on a guy that's so pale like this? Although he's not white, but he's very pale. Or would it be more of a miracle on a dark-skinned individual? Dark-skinned indiv individual, rather. Anyways, let's go. I'm so angry right now. I can't even say anything. I just want y'all to go look at those fucking comments and tell me <coughs> anti semitic <coughs> Yeah, those comments see, she's probably speaking about is uh, on the yay uh, drink chizamps.
uh, interview. You see what I'm saying? It's probably on that. You know, because, yo, the comments was, yo, they had me, hey, those comments are, are great because people are starting to look at you now. Now the, now the spotlight is being put on you devils, and you devils hate the spotlight. And you know why you hate the spotlight? Well, I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why you hate the spotlight according to the, uh, the scriptures. And when I say the spotlight, I'm talking about, you know, being scrutinized. <laughs> Show you exactly why you hate the spotlight and why a lot of these people hate the spotlight especially when it comes to these scriptures you know and uh and this is the condemnation that light is come into the world which light represents yahweh shy first and foremost which he represents truth you know and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil and this is why you hate the light this is why you hate the spotlight the scrutiny because why? Your deeds were evil. All right? We don't mind the light. You see? But the thing is, you're not putting light before us. Because if you put light before us, you know, and mark our steps for real, you really could will find us blameless compared to the people of this earth. You know? I'm talking about the brothers, man. You'll find us blameless, you know, compared to the people of this world, man. You know? You see? Because we're striving to, to, to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. We're stri striving to be righteous men. Notice I said striving. You see? Now, um, if we were to mark you and mark your steps, there'll be all kind of wickedness, all kind of hypocrisy. All right? All kind of foul acts, foul play, robbery, trickery, extortion. You see what I'm saying? This is why you don't like the light. Let's come back. Oh, there we go. Uh, small hat ism <laughs> is an ethno religion. Okay, meaning what? Meaning it's not an open religion like any of those you previously mentioned right so when we say that as he because we are the true israelites they're not okay as when we say that that this is a closed thing this is only for the israelites now that's hate that's this that's that you christians lose your mind but then when it comes to them that you christians don't have nothing to say that's the hypocrisy now listen, listen to this this hip, hypocrisy right here it says kanye is a christian him calling himself a uh, uh, a Hebrew is just inaccurate and offensive. Hold on. Christian Christianity, that's a religion. Your ethnicity is your ethnicity, no matter what your religion is. There were Israelites that were worshiping the golden calf. Were they not still ethnically Israelites? Right? When they, when they were coming out of Egypt, of course they were Israelites. They were just Israelites that were following a golden calf. Wicked, stupid Israelites. Okay, Kanye, oh, I don't want to say his name too much, Yeezy, okay, is an Israelite that follows Christianity, okay, which is bugged out, but he's still an Israelite, this is why he has the talent he has, alright, that was all given by the Most High through his son Yah Yahweh Shai, you see that, so, what this is the statements that they make are so contradictory it makes no like you're saying first it's an eth, it's an ethno thing but then you're saying that because somebody is this religion they can't be part of that ethno your ethno has nothing to do with your religion nor your beliefs that's just your bloodline he is an israelite okay and you are amalekites edomites the blood of <laughs> you know like this nigga said the blood of christ the, the blood the blood of haman that's what y'all are, the blood of Haman. You see it? Maybe because yeah, they don't. Hold, hold on, hold on. They said there are many. Hold on, hold on. Let's pull that back for you. Pull up this devil. Nasty Amalekite. It says, um, there are many black Jews. <laughs> Kanye is not one of them. You see what I'm saying? 
Why? Why, why? why is that? Because they're saying, oh yeah, there's converts. There's black converts. But the true ones are the white ones. <laughs> That's what they're saying. Ultimately, man. And they'll bring up the Ethiopians and all these different things and whatever the case may be. Which is all, um, which those are not Israelites. Okay, for the most part, those are those go back. Ethiopians go back to Cush for the most part. They're Cushites. All right, so that right there is confusion. All right, but neither are you calling yourself, you know, you you so-called white people calling yourself an Israelite. That's completely inaccurate. Spiritually, you're the opposite of an Israelite. Spiritually. All right, like I said, the blood of Haman. Let's go. Maybe because unlike Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, etc., those religions are not what are classified as ethno religions. An ethno religion has a ethnicity behind it. It's not just I say one thing and suddenly I'm a Jew. It's this is my ethnicity. Right. There are. Right, but but that's the thing. It's not your ethnicity. It's our ethnicity that you um are claiming. That's all it is. It's not your ethnicity. It's our ethnicity that you are claiming. Okay? Through confusion, through media propaganda, you've convinced the earth that that is your ethnicity when it's not. This is what we're explaining to you. Okay? You converted. All right? Furthermore, that's not even the, the correct, um, you're not even keeping it the right way. You got a book called the T-A-L, T-A-L Mood. I'll just call it that. T-A-L Mood, which has complete, is in complete opposition to the Torah and the Tanakh. Which we're not even going to get to the foul things that are in that. Now, why is that never scrutinized? Why is that, why is that never brought to the light what goes on in that book? Hmm. You see what I'm saying? But you see the hypocrisy? And you can barely say these things on, 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 on YouTube now. I got to really, really watch my words, man. Because the, 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 you see what they did with the, 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 the champs interview? That's gone. That's You know, you have random, random people uploading it. Random channels. Because they came down with the hammer quick. Matter of fact, let me, let me show you. Let me show you what the scriptures say about about what you know when you got, when you got up in that land. Let me show you what the, what the scriptures say about that. Let's get let's that Ezekiel thirty six verse five. Let's get this. All right, this is Ezekiel thirty six and verse five. It says, "Therefore, thus saith the Lord Power: Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which Idumia is another way of saying the Edomites." Which have appointed my land, which is what is the Lord's land, the land of Israel, into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. And this is what these Edomites did. They took control of the land, you know, with the joy of all their hearts. Just read the, uh, the four bow def dec declaration. I'll just say it like that. The four bow dec declaration. Switch those uh um, what do you saw syllables around man the four bow I'm saying it the opposite way okay declaration go look that up and you can see how excited and happy he was to write to Lord Red Shield okay and by the way how the hell were you going through all this so called oppression but then you had the Red Shields that was running everything and the rest of those families that were all your people by the way in including Lur Hit, including uh, Lur Hit, Dolf Ah Lur Hit. Okay, all I'll say is Shickle Gruber. That's all I gotta say. All right, that's all I gotta say. That's an Amalekite devil that I used to work with. He always just say that shit. That's all I gotta say. I had to curse his ass out many times at work. Back, back. This is back in the day. You know, them, them, they got the spirit of Satan in them, man. But anyways, this is why she's trying to keep up with the lie. Listen, deep down they know what's up. They know they don't. They don't know they don't. They know they don't fit the bill. But they're trying to keep that lie going, man. So this is um, how would you call it? Control. How do you call that? Damn. I forgot what the name for it is. Um, 
something control. Like they're trying to get control of the situation. All right, but anyways, let's go. Black Jews. They come from Ethiopia, the Igbo tribe, etc. It's called the Igbo tribe. See, the Igbos, those are true Israelites. Okay, those are our brethren. Those are true Israelites, which we descend from the same people. How the hell are you going to say <laughs> a, a Yeezy ain't an Israelite? But he, th th there's a very good chance that he descends from, from, from the Igbo. So that's confusion. All right? That's confusion. Which, how the hell are you related to the Igbo? That's a question. You know, this is folly, man. It's complete folly. Or the if you it makes no sense. All right? Clearly, you're a different people. Okay? And and by the way, those Ethiopians are Kushites. Okay? Them Igbo, them Nigerian Igbos, those are Israelites. Basically, most of the people on the west coast of Africa are Israelites because that's where the Israelites settled. When you when you read, well, a, the, I'll say a, a bulk of the Israelites settled or the bulk of the Israelites settled on the west coast of Africa, but uh, there's a lot of Israelites even within, uh, you know, um, Africa in general, you know, there's a lot of Israelites within Africa in general, you know, um, so let's go, and that's why Africa is so oppressed in, in a lot of those places too, but a lot of them Israelites went up to Europe, and there, thus you have the, the Moorish Empire, you know, these different things, which, um, let me pull this book up, Right, the Moorish Empire, these different things that um that were that were by Israelites, okay? You see, and everyone knows about the Moors, and but it's not just the Moors; it was the Saxons, okay? The, the what they call the Vikings; those are so-called black men, all right? And they're not how they portray them in these movies and these different um, <clears throat> what you would call it, these different shows and things like that. What they do is they mix the wild man history, and I clearly can see that. You know, the elder uh, Malcolm brought that out, but I can clearly see that. And it makes perfect sense. They're, they're mixing the wild man history with the actual Viking history. Because when you look at the Vikings, they were not, they were nothing like that. They weren't going around pillaging people in this, these savage, bloodthirsty war, war, warriors. That was not the car characteristic of the Vikings. They were actually known as pretty noble people, you know, which they were Israelites. They were so-called black people, you know. And that's why, you know, if you even type in the, the uh, Russian icons, you can clearly see those images. But right now I'm looking at this book. Now, in this book, which I don't have it on me right now, I have it in one of my bags somewhere, but this book, right, Babylon to Timbuktu, it clearly tells you that the Israelites fled in 70 AD out of Jerusalem in the Roman siege, and they uh, and, uh, and uh, most of them went into where? Into the interiors of Africa. Of course, not all of them went there. Some of them went to North Af Africa. Some of them went to Europe. You know, so on and so forth. Lebanon, whatever. They went different places. Okay? But it said that the bulk went into where? Interiors of Af Africa. And they settled on the west. And it said that what? That, that, um, that, uh, whatchamacallit, that they would, um, that, that the slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves, which is really supposed to say black Israelite slave, or Israelite slaves. You see, dark-skinned Israelite slaves. And that's what happened. That's what happened. Now, when you come here, hold on, let me go, let me go here. Some revelations, this particular part I want to get. Um, just going to find it. There we go. This is, um, uh, Revelation 12 in verse and I'll start at verse 13 it says and when the dragon saw that he was cast out to the uh, unto the earth he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child, which the woman is Israel. That's when you go up to the top, it says the woman with the 12 stars as a crown. That represents the Israelites. Okay, so he, he persecuted the Israelites. Okay, brought forth the man child. The man child is Yahweh Shai, who's going to deliver us. And, um, and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished for a time and times. And half a time from the face of the serpent, which is what? Which, who's the serpent? The serpent is the Edomites. 
When you read Revelation, the 20th chapter, it speaks about the serpent, that old dragon. That's speaking about the Edomites, okay? The nation. So we hid from the nation of Edom, right? AKA the Romans at that time. And we went where? Into the interiors of Af Af Africa. That is known That is known here as the wilderness. And we were nourished there, meaning what? We, we were there, we were, we were, it was good living for a time. You know, we had history there, I believe, of the Mansa Moons and all these different history we had over there. Okay, these, these kingdoms that we had over there in, in, in West Africa. Okay. And what happened? The serpent found us. All right? The serpent found us, man. All right. And what? And he put us into captivity. It was all through the spirit of the Lord. You know, it was all written to happen. And it, and it was perfect. We per, it was perfectly set up that we were right there by the waters so that he could bring us on what? The West, the Western Hemisphere. See, when you look into these prophecies, Old Testament and New Testament, all of the, the whole scriptures, all the scriptures that were all together, that all go together. It's clear to see, even if you just look at the, the Old Testament, it's clear to see that we are the people. Now, the question is, who are these people? Because when you look at, see, now we're going in, we're going in. We're spreading power, y'all, by Shemiel, well, shy. let me get some water. When you look at... <clears throat> These hieroglyphs, these are the Hebrew slaves, right? Yeah. Look, look, look at this skin color. Clearly, this is a, a very dark brown, a ruddy dark brown. Clearly, a ruddy dark brown. And this is the definition of ruddy when it speaks about King David, meaning what? You got that, that uh, brown, brown, very dark brown skin with that reddish undertone. That's all that means, which you can see here. This individual here on the top left, he has dark skin, but he has that reddish undertone. All right. Now, these are the Israelites. See, you see, look here. You see that? You see how dark, dark brown they are? They match these people. Who the hell are these guys? This is this here, which is look at you see this where my cursor is at right now. These people do not look like this. They don't look anything like this. All right. Clearly, their skin is completely different from this. All right. So. The truth is being declared. And a lot of these images, they deface, they destroy, they, um, you know, they, 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 they disfigure and all these different things. Because what? Because they see that they're clearly so-called black people. So they destroy it, you know, or they, you know, they fade it out. They throw it bleaching agents on it something called iconoclasm why are they doing that to hide the truth see these are supposed to be hebrews right which clearly they got like braids and clearly they're they're, they're negroes clearly all right so anyways so we're showing you that we are those people. See, look, these are the people. These are the Hebrews. These are the Israelites. We're trying to say you don't descend from these people. You do not descend from these people. We descend from these people. <laughs> I don't know what's so hard to understand, man. This is not your for Those are not your forefathers. Look, let me bring it back. Let's bring it back. These are not her forefathers clearly clearly and they are amazing and they're a very big part of our community they're small grouping but they are amazing people and there are in fact black jews the reason that kanye west is having issues is because he's using the black hebrew israelite rhetoric the black Hebrew Israelites use a mistranslation of the Bible called the King James Version. Uh, eh. We also go into the Hebrew and in the Greek. Okay, we go into the to, to the Hebrew and break down the words in Hebrew as well. We don't just use the read it uh, for face value. And how is that a mistranslation? He had like, what, 70 scholars to break that down? How is that a complete? Oh, it's just a complete mistranslation. Like, nothing in there is correct, right? <laughs> people are a joke a joke 
and they believe that everything pertains to them while actually they forget that the jews the slavery that was predicted and prophesied was the slavery that took jews out of judea by the romans and we were boarded up on slave ships and the majority of us were shipped off and that was not you number one that wasn't you let's stop there <laughs> Salakia. i didn't mean to say that i'll be your ear people Salakia. to you uh you akim and you akwath Salakia. all right but that's incorrect First of all, they didn't just take them out of Judea and put them on ships directly from 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 uh, the land of Israel. Put them on ships to go where? From where to where? You see what I'm saying? That's not in the history. What happened is we fled, and after a period of time, we were gathered up, mainly from the west coast of Africa. Okay, and put into slavery. That's 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 what happened. It wasn't no. Took us directly from there. First of all, most of the people, or a lot of the people, fled. So what about the rest of them? You know. So this is, this is nonsense. And and there was there was there was a wars going on with the um, the zealots, right? The Sicari and all these different sects. So you know, a lot of them were put to death. So listen, man, she, she's just reaching. You know, she's trying to say whatever she can say to sound good. Which is incorrect, and you, you're, that was and number one. Those were not your people. That wasn't you, okay. We, those were our people, okay. That was going through that persecution by the Romans. All right, so stop it. And we became slaves. The Colosseum that you see built in Rome, that was built by Jews. That was built by my ancestors. Okay, so what are you trying to say? She's trying to say she became she became slaves, and then they went and they made you build the Colosseum. So where did you have to go to ships for to go? Where did you go on ships to reach? That's the question. Did you go on ships to reach to, to Rome? Is that what she's trying to say? She went on ships to reach to Rome. Listen, none of this stuff ad adds up, man. We are not just a religion that you can say, I believe in this thing, so suddenly I'm a Jew. Unlike Christianity, where you just have to believe in Jesus as the Messiah, and all of a sudden you're a Christian. Or if you believe in Islam, where you believe in all their prophets, and one God, and you take the Shahada, then you are a Muslim. And I don't know much about the Buddhist faith, but the list goes on. There's not just one set of rules that you have to follow. Judaism is not a religion that um, proselytizes. We do conversions, but it is a very long, hard process. Kanye is not being canceled because he wants to be Jewish. Kanye is being canceled because he is a Christian who is using anti-Semitic rhetoric, which basically those groups have- See, they use that word. That word is a weapon for these devils. No matter if you say anything against them, it's it's anti this, anti that. It's a it's a it's a it's a, a weapon. You know, their tongue they sharpen their tongue like a sword. You know, anything you say that's the truth, you know, against them, right? It doesn't even have to be negative. <laughs> anti if they just don't anti sem. Jews and are backed by the KKK for reference. Whatever. The KKK set us up against each other. No, 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 no. Most of those slave ships was owned by you devils. The reason why them K and your brethren, right, which went in, went into form the the triple K, which are your brethren, is because you hoarded the blessing, right? You didn't share the wealth. You didn't share the. You were just you basically were screwing them over, you know. And that's why they they were coming up against you because you're their brethren. Okay, you are their brethren. You're the same people. You're just a different uh, tribe of the nation of Edom. That's what you don't understand. Okay? You know, what's the what's the difference between her and, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> name, name me an Edomite, man. Avra Levine or whatever, man. What's the difference between her and her? They got the same facial features and everything. They don't even look like Ishmael. They don't look like them so-called Arabs out there. So who are these people? Judaism, Jews take on the 613 commandments 
in which you either are born into or convert into. There is no, I'm the lost 12 tribes of Israel. Kanye is being canceled. Well, wait a minute, the scriptures tell you about, the, the Bible tells you about the lost 12 tribes of Israel. What are you talking, didn't I just read it in Jeremiah where it says, ye shall discontinue from thine heritage? Well, hold on, let me get another one for you. So, so you see, these people are a bunch of liars, man. These people are a whole a bunch of liars. Let's get Hosea. Hosea 1 and verse 10. And, and the lies are being destroyed, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You cannot defeat Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He will expose you in every way. The Heavenly Father through his son Yahweh Shai, man. That's it. It says, this is uh, Hosea 1 and 10. It says, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. So there's going to be a part, a time where it is said that you're not his people, which we, we've been in that time. We've been, listen, they've been the only ones calling themselves the people. Okay. So they would never, they would never acknowledge us as the people. And even now they don't want to acknowledge us. Even now they acknowledge them. So it's being said, we are not the people. There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. But now the truth is starting to be declared. So the closer we get to the end is the closer they're going to realize that we are the people. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. It says, um, then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel. So hold on. In this time. The children of Judah and the children of Israel, right, be gathered together. So where's the, the, the other tribes? That's another question for you. Where's the other tribes? Where's Ephraim? Where's Manasseh? Where's Issachar? See, we have the sign showing who all the tribes are. The lost 12 tribes. Because remember, there was a split. And they went to a further country whenever mankind dwelt. According to the history, according to Ezra's. So... Hold on now. First of all, where was that country where never mankind dwelt? That was the Americas. This is where our brethren were. Okay? The Northern Kingdom. Right? So-called Latinos and Native Americans. Those are Israelites. And then their brethren, which is us, we came in slave ships to this side of the earth. And thus the prophecy where it says... Hold on. Let's, let's, hold on. Let's, let's finish this off. And they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be uh, Salakia. And a point themselves one head and that one head is going to be uh uh king david under yahweh shai under yahweh shai okay and they shall come up out of the land for great shall be the day of jezreel okay now let's get this real quick It says, Thus saith the Lord, this is Jeremiah 15, 33, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, The children of Judah, no, the children of Israel, and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And all that took them captives, held them fast, they refused to let them go. So, <clears throat> Israel and Judah, okay, they were never together after the split. No, according to the scriptures. Until the end times which is now so because remember now there was a split going back to the time of jeroboam and rehoboam and then the, the the northern kingdom right the 10 tribes they went into slavery under the assyrians but then they left from the assyrians and went to a further country which was the americas and that's why christopher columbus which was one of you all right of amalekite all right he had a uh, hebrew interpreters to go with him in it. And when you read, what was that movie? 1492. He said that part of the reason he's going there is because he read the book of, uh, of Ezra. Okay. The book of Ezra was said that he went to the further country where never mankind dwelt. So now, since they were there, even in the time of the Romans, even in the time of 70 AD, that wasn't the, um, that wasn't 
uh, the, the northern kingdom that was getting persecuted by the Romans. That was the southern kingdom. That was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi for the most part. The, re the northern kingdom was on this side of the earth. Do you see where I'm going with that? So now, if they were not oppressed together back then, when were they? Because Jeremiah is after the split. So when were they oppressed together? They had to be oppressed together in this time. And where are the rest of the tribes? And first of all, furthermore, how are you owning everything? How are you in such a high position in this earth? How are you getting all this aid? It says that they were oppressed. Didn't say that they were oppressing people. <laughs> Listen, man, you, you people are caught. You're, you're running. You're hiding from the truth. And basically, the jig is up, man. The jig is up. The jig is up on you Edomites, man. Just because you wear this this thing on your neck, that don't, that don't make you a true Israelite. Okay? We basically posted rhetoric from a group that is pretty much a terrorist organization. They terrorize Jews and call for violence against us. And who, 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 who does that? I, I wonder if she's saying, I think she might be saying that, that, that the Hebrews are like, I don't know what she's saying, because you know these devils are liars. Let's see, let's see what she's saying. I am the lost 12 tribes of Israel. Kanye is being canceled because he basically... And what is this airhead? What is this chick? No, anyway, she doesn't know anything, man. Come on, man. Just, you, t you, you serious? Talk like she's some type of scholar. She doesn't know anything. <laughs> Ask her what the name of the Heavenly Father is if she's an Israelite. Hashem, Hashem. Well, that's, it doesn't say Hashem. Okay? When you look at the name of the Lord, it doesn't say Hashem there. Hashem just means the name. But anyways, let's go. Rhetoric from a group that is pretty much a terrorist organization. They terrorize Jews and call for violence against us. And they erase our history and change history. Oh, oh so yeah, so she's trying to speak about uh, the Israelites. So she's a damn liar. When what? Show me an Israelite that called for violence against you. Show me an Israelite that said, "Let's go out and get them, them Amalekites." What, 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 show me that. So, so these devils are a bunch of liars, and it's just in their blood to lie. No, don't be, don't be dis dismayed by this. This is just in their blood. This information. Because hold on, let's play that again. When, when is that? When, when? Show me a video where we're saying that. See how these, see how these devils operate. But then there's videos of them talking about Palestinians. They don't, their life don't matter. They, you know, cares if a Palestinian dies. And, and they're the most hateful. That's the, that's the crazy part about it. They terrorize Jews and call for violence against us. Really? W w really? They terrorize them. Oh, so Hebrew, so Israelites are going to your neighborhoods and all that? Wow. Wow. I didn't know that. What are they doing? Light menorahs on your front lawn? What are they doing? Bunch of BS. And they erase our history. And no, no, no. See, see, that, see? And then look, they did that to us? <laughs> Saying we really erased their history. Hold on. We didn't create this, man. See this? These are the hieroglyphs. We didn't create this. This is our history. And somehow it turned from that pe <gasps> to these people. Oh, so lock it. Clicked on the wrong thing. Must have clicked on that. Must have been an ad. My fault. All right. So it went from this, these, this dark skin, to all of a sudden, which I don't even know if there's an actual image, but like looking like this, which is false, which is a lie. So you stole our history, and you're trying to accuse us of stealing your history. <laughs> which is a complete which is completely backwards well that's why the scripture says they are the accuser of our brethren because they, they love to, they make a lot of act they make a whole bunch of accusations when they're the ones that are guilty but they have the media so they they know they got the, they have the media they have social media they got the, the news stations they have all these these tools and avenues because of the influence and power they have in this wicked evil world 
which the Israelites would never have until what Yahweh Shai comes back. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Dash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to you, Akim, out there, pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. You know what? Before I go, let me read something real quick to show you that these curses are set up for a sign to prove who we are. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 45. It says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. This is in the, the Old Testament, by the way. And overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall put shall be put upon thee for a sign and a for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. Let's look up this word sign real quick. Because she said, I had to deal with a mistranslation. Shut your ass up. Shut your ass up. This is a wath. A wath. This is the true pronunciation in the Hebrew. A wath. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Which means what? A sign, token, ensign, miracles, mark sign signal a distinguishing mark so the curses are what a distinguishing mark to show what who the israelites are so with that you do not fit the bill okay sorry to let you know sorry to tell you all right hate to break it to you, you don't fit the bill so with that i'll say shalom